we have seen what a linear differential equation is, and we know that we may be able to find a solution using the integrating factor. But how does that work precisely? In this video, we will see all steps you have to take in general, and we will immediately apply this to an explicit example. So, what are our five steps? First of all, you have to rewrite your uh, differential equation in a standard form, uh, d by dx plus p of x times y equals q. So you have to identify p and q. Then, second step, you compute the integrating factor. Like this, you integrate p with respect to x and put it in an exponent. Well, this can be a problem. You have to find an antiderivative. So uh, if you are unable to do that, that it stops here. You cannot apply it further. Then, third step, multiply your equation on left and right with the integrating factor i. Okay, that's standard. And then the trick step, you leave the right-hand side as it is, but the uh, left-hand side, the sum of those two terms is the derivative of a single term, like this. This is due to the uh, definition of your integrating factor. And then when you've done the fourth step, you can integrate on the left and the right with respect to x. So integration on the left is easy. And on the right-hand side, you only have x's, so you integrate the function i of x times q of x with respect to x. And this can also be a problem, of course, because you need to be able to find the antiderivative. So the method can break down here as well. And finally, of course, you divide by i of x to find your y of x. So those are the five steps. Let's apply them to a specific example. Divide the x plus 3x squared times y equals 6 times x squared. Well, you'll see that we have already done step one. We can find p and q. p equals 3 times x squared and q equals 6 times x squared. So on to the second step, find the integrating factor. So the integrating factor equals integrate 3x squared with respect to x and put it in an exponent. So of course, x cubed plus c. Uh, and you can write it as e to the power x cubed uh, times e to the power c and rename e to the power c as d, some other constant. Then third step, uh, multiply your equation by the integrating factor. So here we have our integrating factors uh, everywhere. And now you see that d immediately drops out. So actually, you could have set d to 1 in the first place, or you could have set c to 0 uh, already in step 2 over here. So it's always like that. So if you compute your integrating factor, uh, you can put the c constant uh, to 0, because in the next step it will drop out anyway. Okay, uh, so uh, we have our differential equation over here. Now we can uh, rewrite the uh, left-hand side. So this term over here can be rewritten as a single derivative, as the ddx of the integrating factor times y. should always check it at this point, whether you did this correctly, by just uh, doing it the reverse way, by, so by taking the derivative over here. So if you take the derivative, first leave the first part constant and differentiate y with respect to x yields this term, plus differentiate e to the power x cubed yields x to the power x cubed times derivative of x cubed 3x squared times y. And you'll see uh, that indeed those two terms here are indeed the same as those two terms over there. So this was correct. So the ddx of e to the power x cubed times y uh, equals the left hand side of the differential equation equals the right hand side of the differential equation. So that's the end of step four. Then step five, we integrate left and right with respect to x. So we integrate left hand side over here with respect to x, and we integrate the right hand side over here with respect to x. Well, on the left hand side, we differentiate something and then we integrate. So we just get e to the power x cubed times y. And on the right hand side, we now only have uh, x's, so we have to integrate the function 6x squared times e to the power x cubed with respect to x. Well, it looks horrible. Fortunately, we can use a substitution rule. If you put u equals x cubed, then the u equals 3x squared dx. And we have a 6x squared dx, so that equals 2du. So we get a 2du and e to the power u. 
So it's easy to integrate. You get two times e to the power u plus some integration constant c. Put u back, two times e to the power x cubed plus c. And then finally, uh, we can divide by e to the power x cubed. So we get y equals 2 plus uh, c over e to the power x cubed. So 2 plus e, uh, c times e to the power minus x cubed. 